Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheep Cottage. So today we're going to talk about our second, what I'm calling less mess tie-dye technique of the week. Today we're going to use fabric spray paint to make some amazing shirts that you are frankly going to love. And if you just said, say what? Fabric spray paint, you're in for a treat. So this video is sponsored by testers. However, all projects and opinions are my own. So we are gonna use testers fabric paint that comes in a spray bottle. So it is spray paint that is good for fabric. And we are going to apply it using some tie dye techniques that don't involve tying at all, but will get you looks like the one I'm wearing as well as this cute one right here. Now, because I always like to take it a little bit extra, I'm adding some HGV to my shirts, but that's completely optional. You can use these same techniques to make just regular tie-dye shirts with nothing on the front at all. So let's jump in and look at the supplies we're gonna use. So for this Bless Mess tie-dye solution, we're gonna use Tester's Fabric Paint. I have three different colors here, but there's a wide variety of colors for you to choose from. And this is a spray paint. So we'll be prepping our shirt and then I'll be going outside to spray paint because I do recommend that you spray paint in a well ventilated area. Then after I paint, I'm gonna allow my shirts to dry like at least three hours. And then I'm going to actually add HTV to the front. So just adding a little something to the front. You don't have to do that step, but I thought it would be a fun addition. So let's take a look at prepping our shirts, first of all, and using the fabric paint. All right, so I have a scrap piece of cardboard and this is what I'm gonna be spray painting on. The shirts I'm using are 100% cotton. I think you could use other blends if you wanted to. The, you can do it similar to you, how you would do a tie dye. So you could do it really tight, but this paint isn't gonna really drip down very much into all the you know little nooks and valleys like a liquid tie dye would. So I prefer to leave it a little more loose. So we'll do one of these with one color, one with two, just to see a difference. And I'll do two different kind of patterns. So the first one, maybe we'll do just a swirl. And so we'll just have our shirt kind of swirled on our board, but loose. And then we would just spray over that with one color or two. So if you spray two colors at the same time, you might get a little bit of blending, that type of thing. If you wanted no blending, I would spray one, wait at least 30 minutes and then spray a second. So that's one way that we could do our shirt and that's the first one. And I would also allow it to dry to the touch, flip it over and do the back in the same manner as you did the front so the two would match when you're wearing it. All right, so I'm just gonna move that really quickly so we can take a look at the second shirt. And with this one, I think I wanna do more of like an accordion fold. So we'll start at the sleeve and just sort of scrunch up the shirt as we go into folds all the way down the length. And then we can just let those spread out just a little bit on our board and repeat with the spray. So one color or two, whichever is your preference and going over the top. So what I'm gonna do now is take this board outside, do those folds, spray paint, and then, like I said, do one color or two and then allow those to dry and then we'll come back and take a look at the results. All right, so I've painted both shirts front and back, and I actually just let them dry overnight, but I would say at least three hours before you add any HTV. So let's take a look at what happened with both of these shirts and how they look. So this is actually the back and 
This is the front. So a really cool tie-dye look, all with a little bit of fabric spray paint. So the, I love the way the blue and pink kind of blended together. So I got purple, blue, and pink all in the same shirt. And then this one was a different fold, so we'll unfold it. That's the back. And there's the front of that shirt. So you get that really cool tie-dye effect. Again, a couple cans of spray paint. So now let's pull out the Cricut Easy Press and let's add HTV to the front of both of these. All right, so now for something a little extra, we're gonna add HTV to the shirt. So I went ahead, I preheated the shirt just to remove any moisture that might be in the fabric, and then I located my design. So I'm gonna do a couple of plant-themed designs on my shirts today. And I'm using B-Flex HTV. It presses at 285 for four seconds, which is super quick, but I am gonna use this size easy press and I'll probably need to press it a few times. Now that we have that pressed, we'll just start peeling back from the corner, making sure everything is attached to our shirt. And there you have one shirt complete with our less mess tie dye technique. Now let's add HTV to the other one. So I hope you loved these shirts as much as I do. I'm not entirely sure which one is my favorite, um, but lucky me, I get to wear them both. So I did wanna note that, you know, I talked about allowing the paint to dry at least three hours before you put the HTV on the front. I did also wanna note this fabric spray paint does not have to be heat set. So a lot of fabric paints, you need to paint it on and then heat set the entire thing. This is not the case with this fabric spray paint which makes it ideal to do the tie-dye technique because now I don't have to like heat the entire shirt to set the paint. The paint is machine washable after three days. So you will wanna let your shirt cure for the three days before actually throwing it into the laundry. But that's it. You have got a tie-dye shirt, way less mess, way less hassle. I love that tie-dye look but I don't always love the mess that I need to make in my house in order to make that happen. So give Tester's Fabric Paint a try for all your tie-dye shirts. I know you are going to love these techniques, whether you use one color or a combination of two colors like I have here. Play around with it, experiment with it. Um, so how much paint will you need? That's the other question I expect you to ask. So I used one entire can of pink to do both of these shirts. So this shirt was entirely in pink, and then this shirt had pink and blue combined, and maybe used half of the bottle of blue. So I would say half a bottle per shirt would be a good estimate of how much you'll need. If you wanna purchase extra, that's fine. So I am gonna link everything I used in the description below, including the Tester's fabric paint and some buying options in your area. So head to the description below this video to see that. So if you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions about anything we've covered, feel free, drop down below, ask away. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have cricket videos every week and videos about cool craft techniques that you don't wanna miss. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.